Now, this is something we've done for years, and it honestly, sincerely makes us a lot of extra money. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to address another way to increase your profit, to make yourself some more money without really doing too much extra. Now, everybody needs supplies. Every single thing I send out, everything most people send out should be wrapped in something. If I'm selling small items like postcards, trade cards, and things like that, anything paper, even buttons or jewelry, pins, everything I send is shipped in some sort of plastic. Whether it's a top loader, the size, the 35 by 55 or the 5 by 7s or the big 11 by 16 bags, everything that I ship in gets sent in one of these. So I always have an expense that I have to deal with every time. Now, there are some good ways to alleviate these expenses and actually turn this around where you're saving even more money. Now, supplies and everything else like this is figured into your ROI, the return on your investment. Now, we'll give you the two easiest ways to make some money back from your supplies. The biggest one that I do is I purchase in bulk. 5,000 of something at a time, which is what this is. It's a whole bunch of them. Sometimes I purchase them 10,000 at a time if I can get a cheaper rate. The whole point is you're going to use these for your entire business for the length that your business is going to run. I'm going to keep going on with my business. I've been running it for more than a decade. So it's no big deal if I buy in mass quantity. I know I'm going to need them. It's going to be something that's not going to go out of fad. They're not going to go bad. So if we buy them in mass quantity, not just a single pack or a couple packs or a thousand, five, ten thousand of these gets us a 40% discount on average off of the retail price, off of the price you would have to pay if you're just buying them a pack, a couple packs, a thousand at a time. Every dollar you save is another dollar you are making. It's something you don't have to spend. It goes to the bottom line instead of being carried over as an expense. So, so if I'm saving 30 or 40 bucks every time I buy supplies, I will always come out ahead. It lowers the ROI on every single item that uses these. Now, it may not sound like a whole bunch of money, but when you're using one of these every day or two, it adds up very, very quickly. So again, if you're planning on doing this as a business going forward, it makes perfect sense to invest the money. This isn't a loss. This is something you're going to need either way. And just purchasing it differently can make you extra money. Now this goes for pretty much everything I buy. Now these are dividers for the bins that we use to store paper and postcards and all that kind of stuff. These I buy the biggest amount I can to get the lowest price I can. So buying a thousand of these or more at a time drops my price down by around 30 percent or more which is a considerable amount of money it means again that i am putting more money in my pocket and making more money same thing goes for the labels for our laser printers five thousand ten thousand whatever it takes even if it's twenty thousand with the labels i'm going to use them for sure i'll buy them if that's what it takes to get the lowest possible price that's what i'm going to do now we do this for boxes as well if you want to get the lowest price in boxes, split a pallet with two or three other people. Go in on a pallet from a box manufacturer locally. You pick them up. There's no shipping involved, so you're getting them far cheaper than anywhere else. Buying them by the pallet or a skid half a pallet is a great way to save an immense amount of money. Again, it's 30-40% discount in many cases if you're buying enough of them. Figure out the difference. Call the local manufacturers for the items that you use. You will be surprised. The labels I can get locally, pretty darn cheap. No shipping. When you buy them online, a good chunk of the price you're paying for them includes shipping because if you're buying labels or products, they're heavy. So it's a big expense, the shipping. In some cases, the shipping alone can be half of the item's price. So if you're, say, buying a box of labels for 50 bucks, half of that could be the shipping cost because of what some of these weigh. Buying them locally, sourcing down better product locally is the best. Sometimes they can deliver them while they are out if you live close enough to them for no extra charge. 
you would be surprised at what you can do. The pallet, though, buying on boxes is probably one of the best. Now, I know people use used boxes, and they'll dumpster dive and all that stuff here. Most of the ones around me are locked. I wouldn't be able to get enough cardboard. The amount of time it would take as well, and some of them are dirty. In some cases, some of the places around here bail them. They don't throw them in a dumpster like you would think. They bail the cardboard, and then it's recycled at the end of the day. So I don't have the opportunity to do that. It's just not worth my time. You've got to figure your time into those items as well. So if it's taking you hours a night to get enough cardboard to ship for a couple of days, it's probably not worth your time. You can just go ahead and buy a bunch more boxes. Now, another way to lower that cost is by using your shipping charges specifically. Now with eBay, if you're shipping your items and using eBay to print your shipping labels, you get a discount from the post office. With that discount, you don't have to give that discount to your actual buyers. There's nothing that says you have to do that. I don't give a refund on stuff like that. So if I'm saving three or four bucks because of the discount, I'm keeping that to cover my shipping supplies. There's nothing wrong with that at all. If the folks would have to go and ship the exact same item, they can go check at the post office. It's going to be the full-fledged price without the discount that you get. That covers the rest of our expenses, like the shipping labels, the dividers, my poly 11 by 16 bags, the mailers I use, the 6 by 9 poly mailers, any of that stuff. It covers everything. If you do that with all of your listings, again, ship through eBay, keep the discount, you will be compensated for most of your shipping supplies. So at the end of the day, even if you are purchasing them, if you first purchase them in bulk, you're saving 30, 40%. And on top of that, if you are keeping the discount that you get through eBay for purchasing your shipping labels, you as well are getting some of that money back. If you're careful, you purchase everything right at the end of the day, even though you are buying the supplies, you probably aren't going to be out any money to actually use those supplies. So the vast majority of our supplies, we don't have to pay for. You can also offset some of that with a shipping and handling fee if you wish. The shipping and handling fee would cover the cost of any of the shipping supplies. You could add a dollar, you could add 50 cents. Some cases you probably won't need that extra 50 cents to cover the costs from some of the items because of the discount you get. So they basically average out at the end of the day where it's pretty much flat on my shipping costs. So I don't have to worry about any of that. Again, I charge for shipping, so I'm not worrying about any of the other aspects as well. So if something changes with shipping costs or anything else like that, it's no big deal. As well, if you use a business policy on eBay for your shipping, which I recommend for everybody, no matter what type of shipping you use, use a business policy because then you can just go back in there Add a handling fee if you wish. You can take it off. You can increase it. Whatever you wish to do, those options are instantaneously done across all of your items in just one spot using eBay's business policy. And I've got videos showing how to do that up here as well, so I would recommend checking those out if you're interested on the business policy also. So think of it from the bottom line of your business. If you're buying stuff for storage, for shipment, or anything else, that's coming out of your expenses. So if you've got to spend 10 bucks or 5 bucks on a pack of something like this, it's hurting your ROI, your return on your investment, because this is coming out of your expense account. This is coming out of the profits you make from the items you sell. Keeping your costs down, as I've said many, many times, is the best way to make more money. I don't have to do anything extra. I'm not trying to find something else to source. I'm using the stuff I already have to have. I have to use these items. It's part of my business. So if I can get them for almost nothing or even nothing, I am always going to make more money. Again, every dime I save is a dime I earn. That's the best way to look at it. If you buy in bulk and you keep your discount, you could be saving thousands of dollars a year. That's a lot of money for most people out there. And you're doing nothing other than being practical and smart and researching the stuff you're going to buy for your supplies to be able to get it as low as humanly possible. Good stuff. Don't get crap. Get good stuff. But that's the best way to do it. Those two steps keeping the discount you get for the shipping supplies as well as getting the shipping supplies as low as you can will save you that extra funds. There's nothing extra you have to do. You still have to buy the products. You still have to use something to accomplish the label-wise, the sealing, the packing, the storage, whatever it is. 
It's just like what you would do when you're purchasing merchandise to turn around and resell. You want to get it as cheap as possible. Why wouldn't you want to do that for the supplies you need also? It's a no-brainer without a doubt. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. I mean exactly what I said. Red! <laughs>